Shalom and welcome to uh, JewishTV.media. Today's topic is conceiving a child as a single mother in Jewish law. And I'm bringing the question which was sent to me on the email. Dear Rabbi, I read with interest the emails that are sent from your synagogue that often contains questions on real life issues in relation to Judaism. I was meaning to ask you a personal question per pertaining to your Expo uh, exposition on fertility treatments in Jewish law and decided to use your public forum since the forum is obviously anonymous and confidential. If you feel that I have, to, I have to discuss this personally, please let me know. I'm a 34 year old observant Jewish girl and aspire like anyone else to have a family, a husband and children. Unfortunately, I haven't met Mr. Wright. I'm confident that it will happen, but worried that by the time it happens, I will be too old to have my own children since a woman's eggs have an expiration date. Does Judaism allow for me to take advantage of a sperm donor in such situations in order that I will be able to have a child? Looking forward to your answer. Lisa of Rose Bay. Uh, Lisa, you're quite right that even after my answer to your question, we'll have to speak in person, but I will attempt to give a very short synopsis of the issues involved. In Jewish law, it's a great mitzvah to have children, but only within the structure and dynamic of a Jewish family not as a separate um, part of our lives, but in conjunction with the family dynamics. And therefore, as much as there's polemics in Jewish law and different opinions, but in this case, the halachic authorities are quite unanimous that it's not correct and ethically permitted, and halachically permitted, for a young lady to be able to become a single mother using a, a sperm donor. At the same time, um, there's much in today's technology that will, uh, that will allow you to solve the problem that you're worried about uh, because you're worried that your eggs, as you mentioned, have an expiration date and therefore they may not be viable by the time you will find Mr. Wright, your Bashert. And today what one is able to do is something quite revolutionary because once upon a time it was possible to successfully freeze only sperm and embryos. The eggs, because of the type of a cell that it is, they weren't viable as frozen. But in the last couple of years, um, through scientific developments in the field, through a process called vitrification, it is possible to very successfully freeze uh, one's eggs, and in such a way that by the time the person does find the Basherdin, they will be able to have their own genetic children without resorting to a donor. And um, I want to be able to say that uh, I mentioned in the, in the previous talk that there are uh, halachic ways that's being done through proper rabbinic supervision. And I mentioned before that here in Sydney we have a very close working relationships with all the major clinics. And therefore, since you're living in Sydney, you can do it very successfully over here. So please contact me and I wish you all the success for the future to be able to find that person that you're looking for. And to all the listeners, I want to wish to have a very good day, and we'll see you again at jewishtv.media. jewishtv.media